Although the Avro car was not a success, it was a great learning experience for Desmond Earl and laid the groundwork for much later work done on the hovercraft. When he moved to Bell Aerosystems, Earl came up with the idea of applying a hovercraft-type skirt to the lower fuselage of an airplane, giving the aircraft highly versatile all-terrain landing, takeoff, and taxiing ability. The test bed chosen for the experiment was a Lake LA-4 amphibian. The reason for the choice was the lake's high-mounted pusher engine and rudder configuration, which gave directional control in the absence of any ground steering system. This was no regular hovercraft skirt system. Earl's idea was inspired by the aircraft wing de-icing boots developed by Goodyear, and his skirt was flexible and retracted in flight to reduce drag. The power for the hovercraft capability came from a small two-cycle auxiliary power plant that drove a fan and was mounted neatly behind the cabin enclosure. The first flight of the system took place on August 4, 1967. The idea was patented by Bell, and the feeling was that it offered excellent all-terrain landing and taxiing capability to those who needed it the most. The same principle was also tested on a twin-engine Buffalo aircraft. And when the Navy became interested, there were plans to even apply it to an A-4 Skyhawk. But they never materialized. Even though Earl's concept worked well, never went into production, and the $97,000 experiment was canceled.